now it's coin duder it's not nothingness empty world duder or loneliness duder or anything like that so let's go ahead and create a coin for him to duder so in entities we're going to add a new class the name's going to be coin package entities and it's going to be an entity Boosh. A coin ripe for Duden. Dudding, Duden. I think it's like that. Duding. Yeah. And then we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to want our image. So we have an image for this. Again, generate embed code. It's going to be a protected static constant called art coin. And that is a class. Now we're going to get our protected variable image. Or that's going to be an image in our constructor. We're going to create a new copy of an image. And let's go ahead and put them somewhere. Where is it going to go? Oh, that's good. Now, let's override our added function. Whenever the coin gets added to the world, we're gonna set our coins graphic equal to image. Let's go ahead and just put one of those in the game. Now here we keep a reference to our coin duder, but say we don't need a reference to our coin. We can just add new coin. Coing new coin. using the add property. Oh, there's a coin right on our duder's face. We can still move around, coin's just hanging out. Well, that's not really realistic. I mean, you'd figure that if there was a coin there, he'd probably duder it. Um, and also, he seems, I don't know, it's weird that he's starting up in that corner. So let's go ahead and put him in the center of the screen, but to put him in the center of the screen, we need to know how big he is. So let's check out the properties here. Hmm. Properties. So he's 66 by 92 pixels is his image. So in order for him to, to do to a coin, he's going to need to know if he touches the coin. And the easiest way to know if he touches the coin is to create a hitbox for him. So we're going to go ahead and set that up as well. And there is a helpful function called set hitbox, which will do just that for us. So let's set the hitbox of our duder to, what do we say, 66 by 92? I feel like that's right. So width is 66, height is 92. And let's just leave the rest at zero. So this is going to give us a height and width for our duder. So at this point, if we want to put him near the middle of the screen, we can say x equals here's our flash punk fp dot width oh, look at this we can use half width how clever is that and we want plus half of this guy's width actually we want to subtract that so he backs up into the center 
and y is going to equal flash punk dot half height minus the half height of our duder. I'll go ahead and try that out. There he is. Now he's that's right where we want him. Uh, chica 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 chica. We're looking good. Now, again, to touch that coin, we need the coin to have a hitbox as well. 